Hi everybody, this is Shah and this is your reading for the 10th to the 16th of August. I hope you enjoyed last week's uh, videos and remember we're already by the end of this coming week we will be at the middle of August and remember August is a very active and uh, strong power month there's a lot of positive things happening that's what the cards have been saying so I wonder what this week will bring and welcome back my cyber angels and thank you for your enormous support and uh, your shares and likes uh, a lot of you might be on holiday if you are on holiday please stay safe and enjoy your holiday and hope to see you back life in safety and well-being and for those that have just landed on this page hi I'm Shah the cyber mum as we have a uh, live sessions as well on Monday Wednesday and Friday so if you would like to join us in the live sessions the live sessions is the tea room known as the tea room and the followers the viewers are my cyber angels and um, or cyber babes as they were known in the first early stages but they've prom I've promoted them to cyber angels okay if you would like to become a cyber angel and get a free card or have a question then I am willing to answer that so long they are supported by a super chat or a super sticker then join us on Monday Wednesday and Friday so please subscribe and hit the bell on all and then you'll be notified and I do put out extra notifications on Instagram Facebook and the community tab in YouTube there are a lot of exciting new things happening and that's why the intro is uh, slightly longer than usual um, I have done a couple of reviews and I've also um, been live for the first time on uh, cyber fair on Facebook you can see the video on that as well it was for charity and I, I am putting the link to the charity below each video this week um, as I would like to share things with you I feel honored and I'm I've had a second chance after the two car accidents uh, that you all know about I have whiplash and I've come through it and um, I would like to give something back not just towards uh, anybody that's watching my videos but to more people uh, the charity is for the children that are blind but also uh, their families and the next of kin I will leave the information below please feel free don't feel um, that you have to but if you know somebody that's blind or a child with difficulties like that um, or has a parent that is blind it it does affect other family members so if you would like to donate thank you very much in advance and everything is welcome even if it is 25 cents if we all club together it can become a great whopping uh, amount and that will give them perhaps uh, a day out or a holiday or sustain them in an other way I know what it is like to be without financial aid um, this is a small charity um, I don't like to support big charities too much because they get subsidized by the municipalities and the governments or other institutions so this is um, uh, from me and from uh, uh, my viewers hopefully and this will go directly to the Royal British Society for the Blind uh, you can check it out yourself because I'll leave the link of the website underneath this video and in uh, the description box and uh, also uh, the money doesn't come to me I don't want to receive any money please pay directly into the um, association for the blind thank you very very much if you feel you can do it and you want to do it there again um, 
I am stunned for words. I enjoyed the session. It was a life experience and you can see the video on how that went as well. And I hope to do it again sometime, hopefully next month, uh, see how things go. Let me know what your reaction is, whether you like uh, the idea that I'm doing this or have you got a suggestion of a very small uh, institution uh, or a trust that or an organization that could help uh, financial could benefit with financial help I'm willing to promote it because I'm got a, got a second chance and I'm blessed with you my cyber angels and my life and my children and my animals uh, so that's why I want to do it to a specific organization give a little bit back to society remember this is like the wheel of fortune and the world it's karma as well what goes round comes round thank you in advance and be blessed stay safe and i hope you enjoy the video ciao ciao hi capricorn this is shah from charlie's angel tarot and welcome this is your reading for the 10th to the 16th of august and i'm going to i'm going to start telling you which cards I'm using. I'm using the magical dog cards tarot. Then I'm using the um, healing with the angels. I'm using the um, uh, uh, the ten secrets of success and inner peace cards from Dwayne Wire. Okay. Um, and I'm using the uh, Color Oracle card by Ina Seagull and I'm also using uh, one of my f beautiful decks by um, uh, Paola Barberi Fantasy Cats Oracle Okay, so let's get started with your reading my darling On Monday the 10th you have the Eight of Sky, which is the Eight of Swords. Perhaps you might feel trapped. Perhaps your mind is going round and round. Usually in a traditional tarot, this is the woman with the blindfold and with her arms tied up, but there's no knots so she can shrug off these ropes um, and step between the Eight of Swords. So you might be feeling trapped in some sort. You can't make a decision or a choice. You might feel depressed. Your mind might be going racing round and round, like these crows do, flying around this dog. Right, take off that blindfold, shrug off the uh, bandages or the rope that are holding you together. They're only imaginary. Okay, so come out of your head and take off the blindfold. Don't just look in front of you. Look what is happening around you. Like this dog is, he's trying to look away where he can jump. So come on, just jump. Come into action and you'll be fine. And you can take uh, a decision or a choice so long you can see what's happening around you. Okay. On Wednesday we have the full take that leap of faith like I said jump come into action new beginnings Woo! you are on your path take that leap of faith if you can get more information uh, then try and do so that will only stand you uh, stand you in good stead um, but otherwise just go for it listen to your intuition that will and that is the best guide of all then you have the uh, female um, of the sea and that is the queen of cups she looks so gorgeous she's beautiful and she um, she loves to preem herself be sensual sexy looking she uh, stands for that as well besides love passion and care and nurturing you might be meeting the 
Queen of Cups, which is Scorpio, but don't exclude Cancer or Pisces. They are also very spiritual people. They can be very empathic people, psychic people, um, as they are um, highly sensitive and they f uh, live according to their emotions and feelings. They listen very well to their intuition so they know which step to take. So if you're not meeting a Scorpio, you might be taking a, uh, a page out of their book, the Water Signs book, I mean not Scorpios, but you could be taking a page out of their book by nurturing yourself, taking better care of yourself, loving yourself, so preening yourself to look sensual and sexy and beautiful so that you can shine like a lighthouse and you'll be the magnet uh, of the divine. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm, I'm mucking around with the language a bit, rhyming as well. Um, just I'm just in a good mood and um, well just be the beacon and be the magnet and you will attract a lot of people if you are looking for love then perhaps this is the time to uh, f be in your prime and feel that you are in your prime don't shut yourself off okay don't shut yourself off. Come out. Come out of your little shell. Come out of your head and you be magic. You be magical because you're lovely people. Okay. So, Cappy, just be the Queen of Cups. Look what's going to happen at the weekend. If you look good, and then you feel good. If you feel good, you look good because you will be like a lighthouse. You'll be beaming you have the magician wow you have all the tools and talents and gifts to make yourself beautiful and also for the infinite infinitive sorry i can't get out of my words today been talking too much the last three days because i did go live for about an hour and a half in two sessions yesterday and watch the video on uh, life of on uh, life and soul it was fun it was great fun totally different than the YouTube life though there's more technical sides to it it was more difficult but that's uh, let's get on with the reading you will be like the magician you can do it all right the magician also stands or uh, uh, presents um, Aries or Gemini so just go into that energy of air and fire go and enjoy be passionate about what you do have some passion in a hobby or in a relationship but remember if it is a relationship it won't last so make sure that you know their boundaries and what their wishes are and let them know what your wishes are the Gemini's want to be clear it could be your soulmate there and the Aries, well, they want to be clear as well because they go fast and they sometimes forget their own speed, also like the air signs. Okay, now I'm going on to, uh, hold on before I go on to, let's have a look if there's any messages connecting. Yes, jump into the deep end. Don't be scared. Come out of your head and take action and be beautiful love yourself be sensual take care of yourself you're on the right path you've got all the magic and the talents within you to do that you could meet um, a Scorpio a Gemini or um, an Aries or if you are partnered up um, this could be a new mate M not mate is in a, a love relationship but um, a mate uh, for life, uh, a best friend for life, whether you're a man or a female, a lady. Okay, now the healing of the angels, like I said, if you can take that leap of faith and you come out of your shell, you've got the talent, you've got freedom, and look at all that those people behind the lady, the angel. Whoa they are enjoying themselves um, you know we've got a saying in Holland being together is more fun than being alone 
then we have the card from the seventh secret there are no justified resentments please release the need to be upset with others no enjoy them let the negative go don't get involved in other people's drama remember that any time you are filled with resentment you are turning the controls of your emotional life over to others to manipulate so don't uh, let anybody manipulate you so the word is release release negativity walk away from drama just enjoy life how can you do this you can do this by nurturing yourself loving yourself uh, then you will start projecting positivity and uh, that you are in your strength you have this new beginning these two cards confirming a new beginning um, if you stand in your strength you are in control of your life and you'll be that and people will learn to respect that you have from the uh, color uh, the color oracle you've got gold uh, and it says gold attract abundance and you've got number 21 so that's a three be creative on how you attract abundance this could be love this could be money this could be recognition of lots of people around you you're in the center and you are attracting attention especially if you look good and feel good now the card from the cat deck is it's number 12 again a three be creative and he's running time is of essence don't waste any time take your time be secure um, when you don't have any information and you have to take that leap of faith then take your time but do it come into action nothing will happen if you don't and don't keep treading the same mill move away from drama and negativity let go release absolutely awesome don't tread the, the same mill but and don't run before you can walk take it step by step learn from the past and it might also mean to somebody go and tread the mill physically in the keeping fit center you might have to get yourself good looking for a certain reason perhaps you might be getting married and you want to lose weight and look good so go and tread that mill time is of essence it could be very shortly that you might be getting married and you want to feel good be healthy and so you have to go on that treadmill be creative about where you run how you run with whom you run like I said many people you are in the middle of the um, you're in the center of attention so get a club going and this will I uh, even after you got married and you've done your training to keep fit you can keep on fit meeting up these new people your own group of friends your own little club Woo, nice one so get come out of your shell uh, Capricorn and enjoy life that is what life is for not only work 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 because work 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 makes Jack a dull boy go out there and play and enjoy wear gold meditate on gold and you can wear gold jewelry or golden colors so go out there and show yourself off shine like gold Wow I love this reading I wish you a brilliant week and um, I hope you will share and like this with as many people as you can and please if you donate thank you very much in advance love you all my cyber angels take care and God bless thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe 
and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.